spend the last five minutes getting all the overlays set up at the last second. And I definitely wasn't playing Fallout 4 up to the instant I switched over the stream. Um, yeah. Virgil, how are you doing this week, buddy? This I'm doing the, this well. This is the part where I talk to all my more interesting friends and learn how they're doing. Um, I'm a little worn out today because I was doing my drive and stuff today. I had to drive in San Francisco and then also drive down to like Oakland and Alameda. And I took like one wrong turn when I was like in San Francisco and then it was just game over. It was like, ah, it took so long to get to where I was going because I was like pushed onto like a freeway on ramp and then oh, yeah. it's like, I have not in control of my destiny. Yep. I used to drive as well. For I, yeah, I, 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 my crit failed a fucking survival check in San Francisco uh, and got lost. Um, but it's nice to be back home uh, and, yeah, all, all fed and watered and happy and relaxed and now ready to do some role playing. Yeah. I survived 15,000 deliveries there, Virgil. I feel your pain. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you for staying up last night and talking to me while I was playing Fallout 4 after last night's stream. And then I went back and watched the video. You can actually watch me depower. Like, yeah, it's take, hilarious. If you take shots of like every five minutes, I go from being like this to like... Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> but then you'd be like, could, could you just re repeat what that... What uh, you were yeah, yeah, I remember that. I was like, <laughs> Virgil, I forgot everything you said in the last two minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That was good times last night. Oh, yep. that stupid submarine makes me so mad. I can't believe you can't get to it with a power suit on. I need to get a jetpack. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna have to become Boba Fett, like a giant, big old heaving Boba Fett. <laughs> more like a, more like the the original Iron Man suit. Yeah, Iron Man one when he was like in the desert, that kind of thing. Is Virgil a plant? Listen, no, if, if yeah, you yeah. have never been dehydrated, you don't know what being water is like, okay? There are times when you're just like, yep, I need four glasses of water right now. I'm alive again. Mm -hmm. Someone, would, by the way, not to derail us with more Fallout 4 talk, because I'm sure we're going to be talking about it a lot, but someone is writing a mod. I don't know how feasible it is, but they're writing a mod where Mama Murphy will ride a helicopter to your location and drop your power armor suit to you when you throw out a uh, flare. <laughs> Ooh, That'd be that's pretty nice. Sweet. Yep. <laughs> it's just an ask for jet in return. Man, it'd be really good too if you could like just turn it into like a uh, turn it into like a follower. Your but, like, suit. Toggle it. Yeah, so it, like <laughs> running behind you and stuff. And then Dude, you oh, like a Titanfall mod like, where your suit yeah. like stands there and copies all your motions? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Wait. All right, yeah. that's enough of that. Dom's eating, so we're going to have to go uh, clockwise. Uh, TL, how are you doing this week? Great. Yeah, the great weekend. Uh, when first we were together, I was just getting back from New York City. So I was, there's this wonderful... Uh, study that's gone out. I don't know how scientific it is about how the number of sick days increased when Fallout 4 released. Um, <laughs> and people were also decreasing doing other naughty things. And uh, I was actually sick. So <laughs> so this whole week is just spent recovery, 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 uh, while also, of course, enjoying some Fallout 4. Um, and I've got a lot of wonderful stuff at work coming up, which some of you guys on the chat know about. Uh, so starting uh, this week is I'm just full throttle all the way until mid-December. So you ready very for this shout-out? How about that combat loot crate dropping soon, as well <laughs> yeah. as that Mass Effect yeah. loot crate? Oh, hello, yeah. hello, right? That is... That is correct. So my world for the next few weeks is going to be bringing you guys more and more insanely amazing crates. <laughs> I have a question because one of my players in another game was wondering, are there any Fallout 4 limited edition crates left? He wants no. that dog. Listen, I know. he spent so much money getting every other piece of Fallout 4 paraphernalia. He doesn't even care about anything else in the box. He just wants the dog. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's Craig. What's the dog, man? Craig, 
Craig can talk to me, and Craig, you can have my dog meat. I have one, Aww. and you're more oh, than Jesus. welcome to it. The nature of these very limited edition crates yeah. is that when they are gone, they are absolutely gone. But I don't want our fans to go without something, so you can have mine. Oh. I'll get everybody in touch. But yeah, <laughs> I mean... Make the connection. I only have one, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if people wanted to know more about Loot Crate, where would they go? And is there a Loot Crate commercial they could watch... Explained oh by goodness. some guy who's also on uh, Being Human. Yes, so <laughs> LootCrate.com will take you to our main landing page. Um, I can post the... I don't know if I can share links on the Twitch, but... Uh, if you post um, it, I can repost it. You can do it, right? It's yeah. uh, It would be the link to the commercial starring Sam Witwer. It's phenomenal. It's a great commercial. I was really happy uh, that we've got a national spot for, you know, our... our kind of small company is not yet as widely known as a you know as a lot of other bigger businesses but it? we're making waves here and there um and if you want to see what's coming up let's see at least in limited edition crate land it would be lootcrate.com slash call of duty if anyone's mm -hmm. interested in that so you can check that out but yeah our fallout and our mass effect are all gone it happened that fast are you guys making an That's anime great. crate <laughs> oh my goodness I you guys are jogging my memory here I love that. you guys are doing all the work for me thank you so much yeah, anime is all of my fingers and toes across launching very very soon very 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 soon I'm getting uh, a subscription like, to that super soon yeah you can also that's another uh, page that you can find I can't remember if it's uh, lootcrate.com slash anime or, or loot anime. But if you do a you know, Google searching for loot crate and anime, it'll come up very easily. So, yeah, we've got anime crate coming up, the November combat crate, um, the uh, which also I think has some Fallout stuff in it. The mini mega crate contest for November has some Fallout stuff. The, the mega crate contest for November, I think, has some Fallout stuff. Um, Call yeah. of Duty Limited Edition um, and quite a few other special special things are coming up in the next few weeks. So, if you are at home and you're watching this video and you're like, man, I'm too, cra too lazy to type the words Loot Crate, but I really want to get Loot Crate, click in the <laughs> description section and I will include a link where you can support this channel by Loot Crating via my Loot Crate referral link and stuff. Click on it. Yeah. It is awesome. Thank you uh, for your support, it. Arthur. I think, Thank yeah, you. I think that you just got the chat gold star. That's something they started doing last night. Yeah. Yeah. They just gave me the middle finger because. Me? Yeah, <laughs> you. Wow. Thank it's a very you. prestigious honor. I got it last night and then oh. they immediately betrayed me. That <laughs> <laughs> Betrayal. Betrayal. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate the support. That's for my second chat. I feel welcomed. Excellent, Gamer Siren. How are you doing this week? Well, the week started off kind of rough. Uh, I was supposed to catch up on some homework. <laughs> Powered through a ten-page paper in four hours. Uh, my Fallout got delivered on a Sunday, which is amazing because the post doesn't run on Sunday, and it ran on Sunday just so I could have my Fallout. It was because someone that works at the post office knew that if he just went and worked that Sunday at the end of the Sunday workday, he would have it as well. You think that's what it was? Yeah, and he was like, I just have no choice. I have to go work today in order to deliver myself my package of Fallout 3 a day early. Yeah, so they delivered my Pip-Boy edition. And I was like, yes. And then um, I picked up four new games other than that. Because it was buy one, get one 40% off at my work. So I was like, oh, yeah. So I got more stuff to stream. And uh, now I'm all caught up on my homework. So, and I'm here. Yay. So I'm super excited. Everyone's oh. playing all these new, fancy, exciting games, but I'm still just addicted to One Finger Death Punch. Yeah, yeah. I heard you talking about that. <laughs> I just can't stop playing. I play it like every Thanks, day sweet. now. I have, an like, yeah, I have an amazing story to share about waiting for a game to get delivered. 
Uh, when I lived in uh, uh, not Morgantown, or somewhere in West Virginia. Morgan Freeman Town? No. Yes. It yeah. starts with an M. Martinsburg. <laughs> when I lived in Martinsburg, <laughs> West Virginia, um, I was waiting for Final Fantasy XI, the Wings of Promathia expansion. Ooh. So I, I literally sat outside on the steps of my apartment because I didn't want to wait for the guy to ring the doorbell. So I just had books and I was reading. And then I saw a, um, you know, I saw like the UPS truck coming up the road and then someone robbed it while it was halfway down the road no! <laughs> and i was like well shit did your stuff get taken uh i mean the thing is there's a police station like a block away from oh. my house and a and a fire station so it didn't get taken the guy got taken out but i didn't get my wings of promathia for another week because it was an evidence lockup so Yep, that's my terrible story about games getting delivered. Dom, we're finally to you. You look amazing, sir. Yeah, you were incredible. Uh, outfit's a little moist, but I'm okay. Moist. <laughs> well, we had a cold rid at the pharmacy today. Oh, you, your mic is not in the correct place, Frank. Oh, right. Uh, I always get caught behind the glasses. <laughs> Every time. But yeah, we had a cold rid at the pharmacy today. One of our favorite customers that has OCD is about to change her prescription. Like the manufacturer, we're like, no, everything has to stay the same. Can we actually like her? We want her to have a relapse. So that was our cold red today. Oh, good thing you're on top of it. Yeah, because it was like we all we all all that had that look like, no, we can't let this happen. Excellent. We care about our customers I... at Kroger. That's a I oh my gosh, you've got codes for different things that happen in your store. <laughs> yeah, our goes no, ours goes by numbers. No, there's numbers like uh we we actually had a class, I think for recall last week when we actually had to call people and say, Hey, this got recalled. Yeah, that's not a fun <laughs> Don't call to make. That. <laughs> oh yeah, your your drugs might not be exactly the drugs you wanted. Oh gosh. Well when is class five? That's the worst. That's the one that's like <laughs> Uh, that's the bad one that it may cause death Ugh. yeah that's that's the stuff that i check on every day because i do all like the it stuff so i get in all the back office things so i check to see what all the recalls are some scary stuff in there man i'll tell you what yeah oh i can't gosh. lie I, I had a food recall on some food i thing because it was it's raw chicken and it's like it was too raw apparently and i had a choice to bring it back i was like no this chicken's too good i'll just cook it extra <laughs> I guess the direction. <laughs> I guess the direction was off on the cook time, and I was oh like, gosh. "I'll just cook it an extra five minutes." It's not rocket science. An extra five minutes will bring it up to that additional thirty degrees. Yep, that and it worked out, and I didn't get sick. No problem. <laughs> then again, I always overcook it, and it like busts open because it has cheese in the middle. But I cook it with potatoes, so it didn't matter because the cheese is going to potatoes. You just pour on food. Good dose of radiation will kill all that stuff, guys. You don't need to cook anything. <laughs> yep. Fallout 4. Uh... <laughs> Just nuke it. Uh, but that was my day. It was pretty busy. Like uh, We was like having a quiet day at 4 o'clock, and then the rush came in, and we was like, oh, my God. Uh, I love working in the pharmacy. It's like quiet in the morning, and like when it hit that time, everybody come home. It gets crazy. Oh, Arthur. This isn't working. Nope. I gotta I gotta keep working on I should have done it. I look like time. a beautiful Savannah. That's my makeover. It do, it it'll catch up. Oh, Give it a second. There you <laughs> now I look like I'm partially made out of plants. So this is a picture done by Virgil <laughs> to, to help me out here. Oh, that's actually pretty good right there. That I is like beautiful. That. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn on my backlight later because I can see. Oh, do I have to go to a stream to see this? Yeah, I mean, if you want to. Oh. That is okay. really nice. Just quick, if you have the chat up, just delete the chat slash pop out part, and then put it back when you're done checking the stream. That's what I do if I need to check the stream. Oh wait a minute! For some reason, I went to the uh, roll twenty. Nope, don't want to go there. So not only are my overlays done by Virgil, also my photographs are done by Virgil, and some of the music. <laughs> just just relying on Virgil. Everybody should have a Virgil. 
Exactly. I f- yeah, I feel work. like during the all break, their production I should, needs. <laughs> I should come so back where out. only the zebra yeah. is in this in the shot, and then like come up like this. I'm gonna have to remember yeah. to do that. Yeah. Surprise happens. Surprise. You could just like like trot it one way and like trot it the other way. Do the dog <laughs> meet where I'm just like, hey, what's up, Chad? I'm a zebra. All right, we gotta start at some point. <laughs> <laughs> 31 Wow, that looks amazing. I know. All right? the Battlefront fans, FYI. Oh, yeah. Happy I'm, Battlefront. I'm ready. Tomorrow, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have yeah. to drag myself. So, the thing is, last week, I didn't get to play Fallout 4 very much at all. Like, because I was streaming the whole time, and then I was doing part of Legacy of the Void, and I had day stuff. And then the weekend hit, and I got like 20 hours of Fallout 4 in. <sighs> And tomorrow is, is, yeah, I'm going to totally Sith Emperor everybody with Force Lightning. Yeah. Okay, so does anyone remember what happened last time? We didn't die. We didn't yes, die. Yes, that is the thing yeah. that did not happen. But we did team. We did get to um, the, the old... Master of Tricks or... The yes. Prince of Lies. Personalized, yeah. but he's not the really master, the person. Amavo? Is that where yeah, we were? The yeah, Amavo. So we yeah, did make it to Amavo, right? Afam Abo Clan. Amavo Clan. No, Abo Clan. Amavo Clan. Afam Amavo Clan. Afam Amavo Clan. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so not only did we want to go talk to him about something, what was it? I remember being told there were job up. postings near his house as well. Yes. yes. So there are job postings near his house, and specifically, I needed to talk with him in order to set up the trade route between my clan, um, my Meru clan, and uh, the city of Amavo. So this is like the first step. And it's it's an easy job, because this is already a well-established city, obviously with a master of merchants. So I think my father was being nice <laughs> having assigned this particular this particular you know uh, diplomatic mission and then we ran into what was his name dugu yeah uh wagadugu the wagadugu um, and i was like i was like i was like why don't you calm your little Shit talking so, down. Yeah, Wagadugu. Like, How about I just wreck you like completely? <laughs> yeah. Wagadugu uh, attempted to chastise you with one of the strongest enchantments possible, the story of the three lions who would be king. And uh you were just like, Nope, I'm good. I walk through the fire. What's up now, old man? <laughs> Step off. Um and then I think he was like, Fine, go inside or whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean like he you were you you displayed a greater physical strength than him, and when his enchantment failed, he was just like, "Okay, do whatever you want. I'm not gonna mess with you." And then he's like, "They'll be eaten by lions by this week." Yeah, it was that was terrifying. Afterwards, as 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 a as a player, that was terrifying, um, and very fun. Uh, I'm just sitting in the back. I was feeling like, very uh, bold last week, but the real after- bowl. After after talking with Arthur a little bit more about Dom's past, I'm a, I'm a little hesitant about starting any fights. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, run past. away! Your character will die. <laughs> One hit point. Uh, but I did also then go look up the rules about death, and if he gets hit, we have like several rounds to get to him to make checks to get harder and harder. So we can save him. It's I can okay. Come back. Bring him back. Oh, you hit me. I'm just a 14 year old boy with a mask. Uh, that gives me superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> Super I have a question. Did everyone buy equipment and food? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I kind of went outside most of the time to gather food, but since we're in a city, that's going to be a little bit rougher. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you would not want to eat what's outside a city. Um, I talked a lot about bread and constellations. Yeah. I got to make and a very rhinoceros lips. And why do I have the word Pruat on here? What's that? I Pruat, have it by Pruat. Itself. That was the merchant who sold you the mind cleansing of the <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> right. Where is he? Gave you his tin, he my, gave you a, a business card in the form of a tin sheet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and we, we woke up talking to Paye. Uh, yep, Paye. 
I just remember just the sing songy guy who's like da 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 bye. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Enjoy your travels. Do you need anything from me? Boop, 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 boop. And I gave him a weapon. It's like, be careful, friend. And yeah, I gave, gave him, him some a jam. dagger that he put in his link cloth. Yeah. I think you I actually, gave, uh, I think that Kareem gave him the dagger and that Gobu gave him an extra piece of cloth to cover his junk with. No, I gave him the dagger. We gave <laughs> him some food. He's kind of too. in trouble with yeah, his Yeah, yeah. He gave him a, d- a dagger. I gave him some food and someone else gave him cloth. Like, we, we hooked him up. And then uh, I noted down that uh, Ipechondria, is that correct? Yeah. Is his, his father? Oba. Is uh, yeah. This is Oba. This is Oba, and I thought he was. Were they related? His uncle yes. or something? It it was implied that he is a member of the Condrian uh, noble family, given yeah. the fact that he performed an amazingly intricate noble dance taught only to Condrian nobles. Right. So. Yeah, at some point we also want to probably go talk to him about trade routes because they they probably will think favorably of us. Maybe. Oh, and and gamer Sire Naomi, she <laughs> totally got us into town in the first place at all. Yeah, I mean mm-hmm. she was wrecking it all night long with like, th- there would be like one line where she'd be like, "Wait, why don't we do this incredibly smart thing?" And everyone'd be like, "Oh, oh yeah, I can do that." <laughs> well, you were like, well, "Here." Good. Here, passport guard, here's a giant bag of money. You should let us inside. Wink. Wink? <laughs> Wink. You know you wanna. She did. And she did. So, <laughs> bag um, we, we open uh, once again with, uh, you can only see his arms, but they're very, like, sinewy, dark-skinned arms. Uh out in front of the camera so it's implied you're you're watching from the viewer like from a person's point of view and they're sitting next to a fire pit and the animals the lion the zebra the gazelle are all arrayed like preparing for sleep and the man is like oh you have returned my friends the young one the story continues this night let us look in on what happens when the four heroes met with the Prince of Lies. And then you hear like a rattling sound, like someone shaking a rain stick. And we come back in on um, Abilia speaking with the Prince of Lies, uh, Afama Mava clan, and his daughter, Menkare, who is uh, a hero of the town of uh, Amavo. His daughter's name is what? Menkare, M E N K A R E. And uh yeah, the the Prince of Lies again smooths out his clothing to show that he has a lot of gold. Uh because gold bars were pressed against the clothing and outlined and stenciled in gold fabric to represent that he has a lot of wealth in gold, which isn't necessarily a smart thing, because silver is the trade metal of this country but gold is considered kind of like a you know it's something fancy people use fair enough and yeah he's sitting there and he's just like so ibilia is it you wanted to discuss trade with me yes also Mm. it seemed that your daughter was a little excitable when i'd mentioned a go-go walker so she's just like yeah yeah i am i'm a little excitable about that and she's she's like up on her feet um she was serving like orange juice to everybody but now that you said that she's put the pitcher down and is kind of like antsying around she's picked up her spear and is just kind of like yeah you see me like reach for the pitcher i just like not more yeah i like not appreciatively like at her her like good energy so yeah, like, she nods back and it's like, I've, I have developed a circle. I believe that there is someone within this city who is manipulating events to allow Agogo to continue his brutal killing streak. Someone is allowing slaves to be taken and sold within this city without my father's permission, which he would not give. Those slaves in turn are being given to a go-go, in order to join his growing bandit army. And that bandit army continues to strike caravans carrying legitimate trade goods. This is unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. 
I will find a go-go and I will kill him and then I will root out the corruption of the city. And then she slams her spear down and the whole shaft of the spear just kind of shakes for a second. I am Mankare, warrior hero and priestess of Amavo. Will be heard. And her dad uh, just kind of pats her on the head and yeah. is like, Yes, yes, of course, like, my darling little girl. I've already like, yes. told you there's no way anyone is selling slaves in this city without my permission. A go go is simply a crazed man out there on the wilderness with but two or three men. Probably the caravan guards get scared and run off when they see him coming. The stories of him slaughtering dozens of people are surely lies. Master Merchant. Yes. Ankari. Sounds like we may be both affected by the same ailment. My father sent me here to conduct business, and it seems like a go go walker is causing trouble for my clan as well. One of the things that is required for my clan to continue to thrive is to set up successful trade routes, which is what brought me to Amavo with my friends here in the first place. One of the reasons why my father sent me was because we've been having increasing trouble setting up trades route coming north. And I think I know why. And it sounds like you may be having a problem of your own with the same person who is causing a problem for my family. I'm thinking there may be a way for us to work together. So he says, my apologies. I know why you're tribe is having problems. I'm afraid that's my fault. I have I stopped all yeah, trade into Meru. Yes. Part of it... What, what, what is this? You tell, tell us when we cannot c trade? <laughs> he says, no. I tell my own people when they can trade. Your caravans from Meru are still allowed into the city. However, they have a hard time leaving since none of my merchants will sell them goods. I apologize, but it is of dire importance that trade with Meru be stopped. A go, -Go Walker's trade routes, or a go, go Walker's base is somewhere along the trade route between our two kingdoms. I and he, you know, he's got a map on the table mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm, pulls it mm -hmm. out and says. I believe he's located somewhere around this location. <clears throat> Virgil, while it sounds like the master merchant is affecting us, I still think this is about a go go. Look what he's pointing out to us. So the master merchant says, but it should be noted, I have also cut out trade routes because, and I mean no offense, Meruins are notoriously unreliable. Over the last dozen years, Meruin villages have continued to take up routes and move their location without sending word to the caravans. The caravans will arrive for monthly or yearly renewal ships in a location that's completely empty, be unable to resupply or find their way home. Their contracts will be burnt. Many of my merchant caravans will now no longer deal with Meru at all, and so I've put a blanket notice to prevent any further unrest with the Meruins. It would take a very powerful convincing in order to unite the merchants once more behind such an idea. But more importantly, if there were some way, like a trade outpost maintained by the Meruins, but their mo your <laughs> he says they, and then he's like, your villages, as you know, are very mobile. They get, they upstake every few years and find new pilgrimage, find new water and food. Yes. It is not a tenable situation. It, you think in terms of days and years, and merchants think in terms of decades. This is an exciting time, Master yes. Merchant. Exciting indeed. This is exactly he, he what looks, I am here for. He is so confused, what, and his daughter is, is just like, people, it is exciting, is isn't it? Crave. Uh, exactly. A that real is trade, right. a real space to do, to do any type of trade, merchantry, and and places of learning and solid stone set in the dirt. Something you know, that's reliable. Are, something that's consistent. We are in agreement. 
the wandering tribe it's not it's not forever on its feet and can take a rest it is not uh outlandish for you to be upset with with vanishing spots where you used to do such good business absolutely not and that's why my father has sent me here this is exactly the kind of thing we are working on very, very diligently. It's just as important to our survival as it is to yours to be able to have continued relationship and trade. So hey, he, sm he smooths his dress out over his... I mean, this dude is not obese or anything, but he's got a an ample belly and says, You know, it has been some time since I spoke with a reasonable Meruen. This is a joyous occasion. Mankare, <laughs> bring me the chocolate. We will have it tonight. Uh, hey Arthur, <laughs> can I ask for a extra bonus item? Um, a yeah. journal. Yes. You see me yeah. perk right up at the mention of chocolate. Yeah, so they start bringing out <laughs> chocolate that's been in like it's it's in like paper thin sheets, mm. in, in like blocks, and you notice they're almost the same size as the the laid out ingots on his um, shades and his clothing. Like they're they're. You know, one inch wide by like six inches long, and he just lays them out in front of everybody like four or five sheets of chocolate. And it's just like, if you have not had this before, <laughs> uh, you what, are in for something. They make is, this in Niala, it is quite good. What's the like architecture of this building? So, um, this particular building is one of the few multi story buildings in the village. Uh, it's quite small in terms of uh, floor space, but because it's multi story. Um, you know, it's livable. The whole first floor is kind of open, except for the staircase mounted in the middle. Uh, you're at the front end of the house where there's like a kitchen table, and then there's like an entertaining area on the other side. You would assume upstairs are probably like bedrooms. And is this mostly stone? Cut stone? or It's is it kind of, it's, it's not stone, it's wood. like cut clay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm just like, your house is... is so beautiful. I'd love to see a Marwan under such a nice, firm, stable found, you know, roof like this. So firm and stable as to build upwards towards the sky. It's incredible. Ah, yes. You know, I have tried many times over the past decade to sell Marowins the technology of, of clay making. You could create houses with solid tiling that would still be capable of surviving the movement, mostly intact. The the clay tiling on the roof would probably crack, and there might be some damage. However, it would easily repair. All you would need is a mobile kiln. I have never been able to sell a marrow in village on it. The kiln is very expensive and requires a, an expert to be trained to use it. <coughs> However, perhaps, yes. perhaps your children will live in clay houses that are still mobile. It would be... An incredible sight to see. It would be. But would in be, order yeah. to receive the clay to make new tiles when broken ones are cast aside, we will need a stable location for a drop-off. Yes. yes? You, I'm afraid that the land of Meru does not support clay generation, as you already know. There are no river banks. The soil is not correct. <laughs> It is the same as why we do not use stone here in Sakone. The foundation of the earth, it is better to use clay or wood. You see uh, me uh, just jot down notes. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is all good to know. This is all excellent information. And we have very good candidate spots available. And I, like, look at Avelia. Like, <laughs> yeah, candidate spots. I feel like you're buying a timeshare <laughs> from this guy. Or he's buying one from you? I don't know. But I'm, like, panicking because I have no idea where we would do this. So I'm trying to, like, pawn this off. <laughs> like, yes, you know, very good progress is is being made. It, like, keep on, like, glancing over at Abelia, like Virgil, my clan clansman. Kareem, is... please. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Kareem. If it, if it helps, you can put up the uh, roll 20, and it has all the correct yeah, names at the bottom. Oh, Otherwise, I would never be able to remember everyone's name. Yeah. Same, same yeah. enough, I have that. Up. That's just why I asked everybody to do it. it. 
Karim, my clansman, uh, is just as excited as I am for what the future of Meru will be. The very specifics about building permanent or semi-permanent settlements will have to be discussed, something we can discuss with my father. Uh, but a first step to that would be reopening trade route, reopening discussions, baby steps. You see me like making oh. little sketches of everybody in the room in my journal. <laughs> it's like, dear journal. <laughs> Okay, so I I want to ask Gofu, <laughs> you're you're literally at this at this discussion where everybody's super animated and you're just like writing stuff down in the middle. Yep. Okay. Drinking some juice, All eating right. some chocolate. So I'm pretty chillax. Yeah, a farm is like. So where do we move forward from here? You say you have things to discuss with me. I have told you the reason why what you are asking for would be very difficult. And, and shortly take... we will remedy this, yes? Is... Yes. Yes. What would it take to open a single trade route and try that? So he glances at his daughter and she just looks over all of you. And... I, like, I like flex my muscles. Really? <laughs> I'm a little taken with her, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, she looks over all of you and kind of nods, and then she gets down to the end where Kareem is flexing, and she just rolls her eyes. And she says, <laughs> yes, Father, I believe we can trust them. She says, as the Prince of Lies, I am not actually bound by my own edicts. I may open a personal trade route at great personal expense with Meru, as a test. If this is successful, I will become more wealthy and remain the Prince of Lies. And you know, as I have been Prince of Lies for almost two years now, it would be good to maintain my position. If others see me getting more wealthy off of Meru, they may be inclined to follow suit. I would very much appreciate even that small chance. Yes, let us seeing, get seeing down Meru and goods here in your city for sale would, would put such a smile on my face. Then let us get down to business. I only have one caravan currently that heads in that direction. It has to travel 320 miles to the westernmost Meruan border and then south again and southeast to a small outpost on the Meru Lakosa border. Uh, if I think you guys can see the purple marker here. Yeah. Yeah, yes. that's that's the purple marker. So his caravans have to go. Um, his caravans have to go to here and then skirt the Maryland border and then back here. That's like eight Texas at least. That's a long crawl, guys. Yeah, it's 320 miles. Gofu, um, that outpost is quite close to your house. Like, you're... you're you probably, your family has a lordship over the general area of that place. I say nothing about this because okay. that'll drop. <laughs> no, we would know not necessarily that. So I don't think my character would know that specifically, but I think it would be obvious that this is Lakosa land. So I would ask. I'd look at Naomi. I'd look at Gofu. You see Gofu Sorry. try not to make eye contact as he like, sticks his nose deeper into the book. <laughs> you know, like that kid that knows something, but it's like... And I'm just like, hey, Gofu, are you well, paying well, attention? Oh, uh, yes, I'm totally paying attention. Well? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot go back to my town. I've turned my back on those people. I've turned my back on the Lord that's there. I cannot go back. I cannot take the chance that I would be pushed asunder once more and have to bow down to somebody who doesn't look after the good of their people. 
I've managed to make it out. That is the first step to staying out. Yeah, mm. so while you're speaking, Mankari is nodding in the background and is like, Yes, I have heard of the way Lakosans treat both their non-noble and their women. He's very disrespectful. But don't worry, one day I will change that. I look One forward day. to that. All, all nations will bow before me. Mankare, I will be the new empress. <laughs> empress. Um, yeah, I don't think they've... Just, just a mollified chat here. I don't think they've mentioned that they're spears to a Fama Mavo clan yet. It has not come up in the conversation. No, it has not. Oh, well, so I probably far, I say that every couple minutes as a spear. Um, and this I would definitely into... actually mention it because I'd be trying to impress that 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 girl. Sure. Well, uh, then let's do that. Mankare. Yeah. So and Naomi, just... you're you're revealing your hesitation with working with the Kosins or going anywhere near there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just like, uh, as a fellow spear, Naomi, you are now one of us and our family. You be you you need no one but us to keep you company and and be your family. Yeah. So uh, a farm is like you are spears of the dawn, then. Yes, and I kind of like stomp my foot a little bit, like stand up. Impressive. <laughs> yes. Now I understand why your group is so diverse. You could practically be Sakone. <laughs> 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 well, perhaps we could. My trade caravan uh, uh, that is traveling to the Kosa is bringing goods, arms, armor. It has been robbed a few times by a go-go. If I could find go? a route through Marrowlands, it would be nice. That was what I was amenable. just thinking. Prince, that was just what I was thinking. If it doesn't have to go through Lakosa. Well, it, it has. I mean, the end point is in Lakosa. <laughs> so he right. says, yes, it must go. Through, it must end in Lakosa. But, but it must can end. go through it Meru. It can go through Meru, and if you have a village that would be staying for a while, a decade or so, then they can travel there, resupply. Let off Sokone's goods and pick up Marowin guilds for the return trip. That would also mean, Naomi, we wouldn't have to go into Lakosa since that's where it ends. I can definitely find another clansman to take the final step of the journey as long as we get them close enough to the border. Yeah, so he raises an eyebrow and says, Oh ho, and Menkare. Um, is basically ignoring Kareem at this point, as he's just like, yeah, I'm a Spear of the Dawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as a fellow out, Spear! Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you even live? <laughs> uh, Mankari says, you intend to go with this caravan personally and deliver it then. By what you just said, it sounds as if that's what you're going to do. Well, it's yes. an option. It would definitely I be something we could me, do. Like, perk up. I like this option. So, yeah. She looks at her father and is like, Father, I must go with them. This is a great idea. Why have we never done this before? If a go, -go attacks with four Spears of the Dawn to act as my vanguard, I could easily defeat a go, -go. And he's like, no, no. The caravan does not need extra escorts. If we are going around... Uh, the go-go will not attack. It's the wrong direction. And you are definitely not going to face a go-go. Dear to bug. I want her to come and face a go-go. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you waste precious days and precious miles, food and water, taking this long route. We can put it into a go-go, and there's no reason your daughter should not come with us. She is a mighty warrior, obviously. I don't see why not. Uh, I mean, the, God, would it be like hugely like rude of me to just like an extend an invitation to her? To do what? 
to like you see come me with us. Put my, you see my I guess we haven't put it all down up. here. I'll wait. I'll I'll calm my ass down. <laughs> <laughs> see me start lifting my Go journal up like uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, what would be a better way than to show the strength of your daughter as Empress than to let her accompany us? To establish the trade route herself. So he be... gets a very unusual look on his face. He's just like, eh. I'm like, Gofu is, a, is a, a student, a scholar, and also a writer. Everything that happens will be noted down. It will be a part of the histories of these lands. You see? Of course. Uh, Mankare, my daughter. Little fish, could you go upstairs and bring me down my spear? You know, the one that's beneath the bed. Make sure to undo all of the locks. And she's just rolling her eyes and says, You know, Father, if you are going to dismiss me, you should come up with a better excuse than that. She starts <laughs> stomping her way up the stairs and, like, slams the door. We haven't made any definite contracts at this moment. But The Prince, fault here is not yours. The, I'd, I must I'd be like with my mention, daughter. I'd on her behalf, I'd like to mention... <sighs> having her assistance in showing a trust that you're rebuilding with Meru might help, perhaps just politically, if not in the way of the warrior. Okay, so he, he's like looking at you now, trying to take your measure. Allow me to explain something, then. My daughter says that she will be empress, but the emperor is almost 40 years dead. And as a woman, I'm sure you know, many men are dismissive of talk of women at any level of power, but to say something about an empress is very much against our way of life. I have warned her not to speak of this in front of strangers. It brings yes, but... her ill tidings. All I'm... these men who speak of this have have never known more fear than the fear of their very own mother. <laughs> I do not He's disagree right. with what you have said. <laughs> However, as even a powerful man within this city, I am still not even an Oba here. I am not a noble man. My daughter will never be empress. She could not even marry the emperor. He is too low clan. It will not happen. I would ask that you do not repeat anything that was said here in the last few moments of conversation. You see me start scratching something out real quick. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> and so yeah, he kind of he, he bows slightly in your direction and says, I apologize. I do not think you were ever introduced to me, sir. Scribe. Oh, I stand up. I'm Gofu of the Oats clan. So he, he kind of like gives you a one-handed handshake and then lays the other hand on top of it and is like, Gofu, I appreciate your discretion in this matter. I understand that in the spears, scribing and, and keeping knowledge for the next generation is very important, but I would not want my daughter or what she has said to be tarnished. And... Yes. I am a uh, forward thinker. I believe that everybody should have equal opportunity. It's, yeah, so I mean, like, now that you, you've spent some time in the room with him, he is like, that is a very strange thing for a Lakosan sorcerer to say. <laughs> Why? I was, trained, I was trained by the best, my mother of the Star Clan. I understand. Mothers are very important. <sighs> well, now that we are done discussing my daughter, perhaps we can speak on the trade route. I am very hesitant to allow my daughter to accompany you on this mission. Can you tell me why it would be important for a Spear of the Dawn to escort the caravan? Or indeed, yes, why it would be important for the Spears to go themselves, and even more importantly, why my daughter would need to accompany you. And I'm just like, this oh, I hope critical. he thinks up a good one. Does, <laughs> do you plan the on allowing her to succeed you? I hope it will be many years before I must think on that. Well, this would be perfect training for her to be able to take care of herself 
And yeah, what well. better guards than Spears? That way, if something does happen, we can still be there as her backup. And to make sure that the trade goes appropriately, we will be there to assure its success. There's yeah. no better time to start the legends. Much like I'm doing, he pulls his, his cap off yeah. his head and starts scratching his hair and says, <clears throat> You say there is no better time, <laughs> but as a man who deals in nothing but time... <laughs> I must say, it is not a stable time to begin trade with Meru. <laughs> as long That's... as Agogo is out there, there is always a very small chance that he may turn eastward, especially if I begin to move my caravan that way. Very I'm well. not saying he would turn only for one caravan, but... May I make a proposal? If I bring you Agogo... That's the puzzle I was going to make. <laughs> yeah. You wish to bring me a go-go. Does he have to be alive? <laughs> a go-go seems to be the a thorn problem. in everyone's foot. A go-go is a very dangerous man. Do you know what you are agreeing to? We may not do it today. It may not be tomorrow. But someday we will bring him to justice. But tomorrow, the white rhino, as I look to the stars... He's, he's just like the white rhino. You are hunting the white rhino? I wish to study like, it to learn yeah, it. It's yeah, like abnormally. <laughs> it's an abnormality in the nature. I must jot it for future generations. So he he is like, you are hunting the right rhino with Meruens? Is there a problem? So he looks at Kareem and Abelia like... <laughs> But like what? Like we're not supposed like, to. Yeah, like tell tell him. <laughs> Be like, there's no such thing as white rhinos. No, no. Just me take a knee and like no. It's a it's a culture meru role to. Okay. Uh, I have like all kinds of culture meru. Yeah. I have a one in um, it. Okay, and it would be intelligence because you're recalling. Something you already know. Oh, uh, 2d6. So I get one from int and one from... Uh, is that what it's doing? Yep. Plus two. All right. Let me ask what your intention with this role is. But um, to under recover something you should know already? or something? Yeah, to recover something I should know about white rhinos in the Meru culture. Like that they're probably holy to the sun god or something. Right? Okay. Eight. Uh, it is um, very illegal for outsiders to hunt white rhinos. They're essentially protected, again, as you said, underneath the sun way. Um, but more importantly, even those who aren't religious okay. don't hunt them because they're seen as a sign of prosperity in like a, a spiritual sense. Like okay. Having a white so, rhino near a village is kind of like having a cat. So, okay, I'm like... I'm like uh... I believe my friend Gofu wishes to study the animal. I'm I'm fairly sure he could do nothing to it other than uh, jot down what its behavior is. Uh, you see, I'm fairly sure he would fall down at its feet if it blinked at him too hard. <laughs> uh. Yes, Prince, and then I like um, elbow Gofu. <laughs> friends, Gofu we're not over. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> crushing each other's dreams. Shall we say? Uh, so we let like... Gofu <laughs> talk about the white rhino. <laughs> the white rhino. It's such a beautiful. It would be a very beautiful creature to know, to watch it Everyone eat. Everyone needs to watch something it eat. <laughs> to strive for. Even it eats if other it's smaller like... rhinos, as far as we know. <laughs> you see me like, <gasps> really? <laughs> as I start jotting that down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes. So I uh, I support my friends' ambitions, however unlikely they may be. <laughs> he says, "Yes, yes, of course, that makes sense. However, you should know that there is a man currently gathering a group to hunt that white rhino in Marrowin lands. He put a posting on my door. 
As it is not illegal here, I could not stop him. But you should be aware he's offering a great number of gifts. Including a palm wine calabash. A rare magical item to whoever brings him the horn of the white rhino. Seems like a terrible idea. Perhaps, but he has already gathered a great number of followers. Hmm. They are said to be leaving soon. I'm afraid I don't know more than that. What? Who? What is his name? His name is Ichizona of Arakchuku. I don't agree with him, but you know, to Ichizona. But if it's good luck, wouldn't that cause bad luck? <laughs> so he shrugs and says, "The man is not Merwin." Oh. That's just mean. <laughs> there are a lot of things as a business person and diplomat that I have to smile at and swallow, though I may not agree. I cannot account for this man's business, <laughs> clearly his upbringing. But I also can't stop someone who's free to hunt white rhinos. I may strongly try to persuade him not to, but it isn't always in the best interest of, I will speak just for my clan, Clansman Virgil. Uh, yeah, I just have like a furrowed brow. To get involved brow. in everybody's business without knowing the full picture however distasteful that may be I make sure that Gofu is writing that guy's name down Okay, I'll put it in my you, you like it tap is... it a few times yeah. like, that <laughs> one guy. Ichizona of Arakchu <laughs> definitely not easy it requires a lot of discipline to be able you to you see me write a, like, draw a little stick figure of him with a frowny face mean guy <laughs> pointing at it <laughs> Very a jerk the face, there you go. He is not what is standing in the way of this particular diplomatic mission. It seems like that honor falls to a go go. Yeah, so Minkari comes back downstairs with um it's it's a very strange spear, so uh we would recognize it as having been both metal worked and kind of machine worked. It has um the traditional, you know, like wood with, you know, metal hilt, but there are blades coming off of the ends so that it can extend outwardly, kind of like uh, two fish hooks. So you can like stab someone with it, like press a button on the hilt and release the springs, and then pull it back out, and it's like a, <laughs> an enormous like arrow spear. And he's like, "Yes, you have brought my spear." That like the predator's mouth? Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it, so it's like a one-of-a-kind thing. He's like, yes, this is a very rare spear. The man who made this using mm, iron work that I have never seen before, well, he told me to never take it apart as I would not be able to put it back together, and I believed him. May I examine that? I will not take it apart. Yes, of course. And he lays it, like, on the table. He, he kind of, like, moves some bread and... Uh, the orange juice pitcher, and then just like lays it on the table in front of everyone. You see me like run my finger along it and examine like each crevice and then jot some notes. Yeah, so it Wait, looks... he just lays it there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It looks like something's been done to the iron here. It's not tr like traditional like worked iron. There's something strange about it. The spear also, when you kind of get a hold of it, seems to be lighter than it should be. Hmm. New metals. Interesting. It could be some form of alloy. I, as I said, I've never bothered to take it apart. So like, it could be from like, the stars. What? What? Star what say you? Let me see it. I like, like, uh, like, give my hand out to of like. Of course, out. Kareem was it? Yes. Yes. It's very interesting looking. So Mankari uh -huh. just is like, yes, father, let the boy play with the spear. Uh, okay. Um, 
Yeah, I'll like attempt to do. Can I like attempt to do like a super impressive like spear maneuver? Yes. To to charm her. Yep. So you your see? your um your objective here is to charm her with it. Yes. Can you do <laughs> athletics with charisma? Sure. So let's see. That's uh, uh just a plus one. So it's like performance, but with your spear. Boom! Boom. That's some fancy spear juggling. I'm Jet Li up in here. <laughs> Whoa! Uh... Nice. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, tell me tell me what's happening here. Yeah, I'm doing like full spins on the like wrist and like dropping it onto like a spin on the back and then back onto the other palm and like just getting crazy, like jumping up, bouncing off the like bottom of it to do like a full flip and then like landing in like a large sweep. I'm just like it has good balance. <laughs> Like, I, I love the idea of you doing like a an old spice man stance or something where you just like it has good balance and maybe there's like something happening the camera zooms out you're on a horse all of a sudden <laughs> yeah for no reason like a zebra <laughs> so yeah her skin is already you know moderately dark but it kind of around her cheeks gets a little darker she blushes and is like so you do have very quick fingers I see and at that point, the the Prince of Lies, Afam, gets a pretty dark look on his face. He's like, yes, yes, you are very good at handling my spear. If, if you don't mind, I'd like to put it down. <laughs> I'd hate for you to break the glass jug or anything. Yeah, yeah and I, like, I of, hand it back. All you beaming. See me draw, do a quick sketch of the girl, like, uh, blushing. It's like... I'm, I'm curious, do you actually have... Um, craft skills i just got scry you i mean do you have like trade anything like trade clerk i do have basic trade but i never actually i don't know what the specifics on trade is yeah i mean you could take trade clerk real quick because it sounds like that's yeah. what you're doing yeah I have clerk. Trade. do you want to roll a clerk roll to see how well this this picture comes out okay sure um i think that would be charisma as well because you're kind of drawing from your heart yeah yeah, the I mean, it's like a courtroom sketch that you might see for Law and Order. Uh, Law and Order, yeah, it's actually pretty good for something you only had like an instant of view. Okay, she kind of looks over your work and is like, "You are very good, Gofu." Falls in love with Gofu. I'm like, no. <laughs> Thank you. He likes the artistic type. No. <laughs> Damn hipsters. <laughs> Taking the girls. <laughs> uh, hipsters. Yeah. We all know what I like is. the dark, broody type that hang out in the corner, drink tea, and eat chocolate. Yeah. Oh. We got chocolate here. This is actually totally yeah, like what I'm about here. to start doing. Um. Yeah. Now I'm like. Now I like forget where we were in the conversation because I'm all like, all all you know, pumped, pumped up. What were we saying? I'm like, wait, what were we saying? What? Uh, I got carried good. away. <laughs> yes, the conversation has gotten a little confused. <laughs> so a is like, please, <laughs> we need to get back on the subject of Meru and routing my trade caravan that way. As we were discussing before my daughter came back downstairs, I have not been sufficiently convinced as to why you personally would need to travel with the caravan, or why you think my daughter would be needed, or more importantly, you still have not offered me a village to trade at, or in And then he stops and is like, Incentives to trade there. And you see his daughter just rolls his eyes and says, Really, father, you're going to ask them for a bribe now of all times. Um shit, I have so nothing to to bribe him with. He's like, "No, it is not bribery, Menkare. You do not understand business. It must make fiscal sense to head south rather than west. If I cannot at least make the same amount of money, the people I report to the people whose money I trade with will be very upset with me. And for a man in as a precarious position as I am, as the Prince of Lies, it is not good. 
He brings up the, some good points. The offer we give you is security, and we bring you the, the main threat that is worth far more than a small taxation. So you are saying that rather than escort my caravan, you will go and find a go-go yourself? You can't I go would, by yourself. I, would, I might require some help, and I like look directly at Minkai. Yeah, uh, he says, when I said yourself, I meant your group, your spears. Well, it's our job to protect the I still the just like men. stare at Menkare, and I'm like, I am willing to go and put a stop to this man's reign of terror on our trading routes. Yes. She gives a, a nod and is like, yes, that is good forward thinking. However, you will die alone. Nope. Uh, I'm like, Menkare, will you join me to free the trade routes of your people and mine? You see me like just put the book on my face, like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. I'm just like sweating. <laughs> that, that, where you come. Yeah, it, so. Amelia has been watching and listening, and she finally chimes up and she says, I believe a go go is where we must start. We may escort the caravan. To ensure, as Kareem has said, that it arrives safely. Well, at this time, Prince, and I'm sorry to say, I cannot guarantee a permanent settlement. I was not part of this particular diplomatic mission. It is definitely something I will report back to my father. As he is in the running for city chief, this would definitely be something he would put on the top of his agenda. Even if we did take the caravan, there's no chance. It's not guaranteed that we run into a go-go, and he seems to be our biggest problem. So he says, your father is running to become Oba. Interesting. Might I know his name? Yes. <laughs> his name is Keb Sun Keb Walker, Walker Clan. Clan. He says, yes, Cab Sunwalker Clan. I do know of such a man in the South. Hmm. Our guarantee. Kareem, I think you are right. Hofu, Naomi, would be to head straight for a go-go himself. But I don't see why The caravan no. will get there safely, as long as a go-go is preoccupied with us. Hmm? True. Fair enough. So he says, very well. Make a, can you make a, um, I want to say persuasion. Let's make sure that that's the correct thing. Yeah, I have... you make a persuade check with uh, charisma. Yes, I have persuade both as a Griot class skill and as a Meruin, Meruin trader. So that's so that gives one. me a plus yeah, so one. A one. Yep. And then my charisma is a 14, so that's a... Plus one as well. Nice. So you have Ooh. a total of plus two. Which page is actually skills? Okay. Excellent question. The answer Third, to that is uh, 20... 29. Because I'm like scrolling back and forth yeah. if I can add the right thing for my art. Oh, I know, friend. I know the pain. Oh, okay, sorry. Great. I did that wrong in roll. How do I do that in roll 20? You got it. There's no uh, equal you, sign. You, Backslash yeah, roll. No equal sign. Oh, that's it. Roll. Sorry about that. <laughs> 2d6 plus 2. Ah. In the less than the middle. Do you have... I don't know if it's your class that has the ability to re-roll, but that is a terrible roll. It's, yeah, it's awful. Does someone know if it's there? I know it's not my class. Does someone have a re-roll ability? I, yeah, I Dom rolled twice. Uh, okay. I rolled twice. That's all I got for survival. <gasps> Yeah, um, so what is your objective here? What is it you're trying to accomplish? The objective here is to sort of pinpoint what our plan of action is going to be. To Ibelia, it sounds like the way to establish this trade route securely, since, sure, we could go as spears, but a go, -go will still be menacing the borders uh, anyway. So 
listening to the conversation with the prince and listening to sort of how he's uh, with the go uh, how the prince has been talking about a go-go and and it seems like the best thing would be to i can't say take out a go-go but somehow neutralize a okay. go-go yeah. <laughs> doesn't mean kill him it just means somehow maybe we send him away maybe we convince him to join our quest instead who knows but that is her idea is I'm not sure how I could get this to work, Prince, but neutralizing a go-go seems to be the best course of action. When you asked why would Spears transport a caravan, very good point. Maybe we wouldn't. And since the idea to transport the caravan was to make sure it arrived safely in Meru, maybe we take out the reason why it wouldn't arrive there safely in the first place. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, based on your role, he says, very well, you may take my daughter with you to hunt a go-go. Yes. Yes. And we will bring her back alive. Yes, of Don't course. Don't even mention that. It's our promise <laughs> to us. It's uh, our promise from us to you. <sighs> We I trust you really. to do whatever is necessary. However, I do suggest that all of you prepare final words for your family before leaving. Just mm -hmm. in case. I will personally see to it that they are delivered. Why does this seem so familiar? <laughs> Ibilia is, is uh, she's actually kind of so nervous and she's like sweating a little bit because this is very scary for her right now. You see me smiling, learning experience. So um, this is business. You, you said he had a full map or like a pretty good map. He has a map. Yes. Of of like it, but it had some Lakosa, Meru, and Sokone, right? Can I make a yeah, quick... It's, it's this map. It's this particular oh, map. Oh, it's that big. Looking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I make a mini sketch of the map using uh, Scholar? Yeah, we'll find out how accurate. And to be clear, this map isn't particularly accurate. It's just kind of like a very large map with not a lot of detail on it. Well, it's more than I had before. <laughs> yeah, so for instance, Amavo isn't even on this map. But yeah, uh, can you make another clerk roll? Clerk roll? Would yeah, this be charisma clerk. or intelligence? I think this is uh, this is probably going to with... be dexterity. Dexterity? No, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you make a fairly accurate representation. Uh, it's going to take you like an hour, but yeah, you can do this. Okay, you see me just start yeah, jotting well, it. We, we can just hang out and eat chocolate and drink tea while he does that, yeah? Sure. Uh, okay, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm being very quiet and trying to be reserved and just eating chocolate. <laughs> so the complete opposite of what you've been up to this point? Chocolate. Well, now she's coming with us, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fuck up. Kareem, are you okay? What I could have stabbed fun? myself with that spear, and that would have been game over, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. He died because he lived. <laughs> Ibilia is not. I, she's she's like not doing well. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> can you make a luck save real quick, uh, Kareem? Okay. Uh, which is uh, 13. So I'm trying to get lower than... I'm trying to get higher. Higher than 13. You want to get higher than 13. Okay. Nope. Uh, Bad luck. So Mankari pulls up next to you and says, You know, <clears throat> I've seen such spear work recently. And I, I just kind of like Give her the, like, frown. Oh, yes. Like... Yes, yes. A man from Meruan lands came into the bazaar claiming to be a spear performing such odds for money. He called himself Spear in Stomach. I don't suppose you know this man. Do I know Spear in Stomach? Mm... Can you make, like, a wisdom roll real quick? Yeah. Uh, which, uh, which is no no modifier for me. Mm -hmm. 
Ten. Yeah, Whoa. so your father was killed by someone stabbing them in the stomach with a spear. And this sounds... A, I Like, only people from your village practice this specific oh. sword style. And so this sounds suspiciously like the man who killed your father. Uh, oh, shit. I'm about, I just lost power for a second, guys. You're still here. Okay. Wait, what? How did you lose power and your computer's still going? I have oh, a... Uh, kind of like... Battery I backup? Have, I have a uh, yeah battery backup. I just looked oh. at it again. Oh, God. This ain't gonna be good. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. Doing it. I'm gonna lose power any second now, guys. You this should probably should shut down. Uh, it gives me... I have, like, a couple minutes left. So, I mean, look, maybe it's not gonna go out. Maybe that was it. You do. But I have a feeling yeah. it's gonna... Um... What was I doing? Oh, uh... Spear in the stomach. Yeah. Spear in the stomach. Wisdom roll. Yeah, and I got Wait ten, it. and it's the possibly, um... I, I'm just like, father. when? When you when you see this? Uh, almost a week ago. He departed north. He said he was going to the Itere River. He was going to find other spears and head into the Silent Lands to hunt the Eternals. It seemed strange for a man who needed to dance on the streets for silver in order to feed himself, but... He is undoubtedly very skilled with the spear. Perhaps not as skilled as you, but... Uh, and I, like, I don't answer. I just start, like, shoving chocolate in my mouth. He's like, what is wrong? <laughs> you seem very apprehensive. Have I offended you in some way? I, like, I assure you, you are a better spear dancer than this man is. I said, that is good to hear, because I believe you are describing my father's killer and one day i will show him my skill in combat so yeah i mean she looks pretty shove, shocked and, yeah like and uh, more chocolate a farmer mavo clan is like this man killed your father i like just nod to him with like still shoving more chocolate in my mouth i understand killing another's kin is a very serious offense that is why in all five of the lands it is completely legal to hunt down anyone who does that Uh, and I'm, I'm like, it saddens me. My, my, my business does not bring me north at this time. I could put out a few feelers for you, young man. Try to find this man for you and provide you with information. I have a lot of friends. Mm. Uh, and I do like what's like I don't know whatever I I like stand and bow. I guess I don't know exactly what okay. like it, if I knew what the highest like honor you give in Sakone would be. That's what I... Do you have culture Sakone? No. You can roll at a minus one. Okay. And you would roll with wisdom because you don't you don't actually know it. So you're just going to try to make it up. Four. <laughs> yeah. I like clap three times, spin around, and like do an elbow, f like a shoulder fart. He raises an sure eyebrow and it. looks at his daughter and is just like, yes, that is... You have shown once again your skill at dancing. Like oh, it, it was kind of it was to show head. honor and thank I I may have I like look at Barry. car is just like oh. <laughs> you see me do a quick stat uh, a quick sketch of uh, what he was doing. <laughs> it's a terrible sketch as well. I I just made the DC a simple sketch. <laughs> it's like here you go, buddy. It's, um, yeah, it's not a great drawing, but <laughs> it's it's not the worst drawing. It was the best of times. <laughs> Ibelia, I believe that I can afford, and I say this very strenuously, I can afford to send one caravan as a test back to your lands with you so that you can seek out a village where they can permanently come back to from there, they will depart to the Kosin lands, and you will depart to hunt down the spear, the uh, Agogo with my daughter. Is this an acceptable plan of action for you? The caravan, uh, we escort. I'd... Yeah. And then, once it gets to Meru, we depart 
or it gets to my village in Meru. Not, so he didn't say your particular village, just right. any village you think they that would be acceptable to become a permanent route. Like you might go to a couple of villages and be like, you guys plan to stay around for 10 years or so? And the chief might be like, nope, we're leaving in like two or three years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, caravan to Meru, and then go find... The caravan to, oh. So the caravan to Meru, and then we sort of will split off. Yeah, and they'll leave a beacon go, there so they go. can fast travel back. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I like this. I like this technology Amelia's gonna have to make an. She's going to make an executive decision because she's like yeah. essentially talking on behalf of the entire like Meru way of life. Like... She doesn't know anyone that is going to stick around for ten years. Well, she have says, to, have to change change the minds. Yeah, because I think that only Absolutely. one you only need one civilization there, and they can like every time they transfer, just go up there, get supplies, and come back. One. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Establish the trade route. Establish a city. There's yeah. that. That's a and whole other. It's never Jesus. been done. In and I say, no, uh, not and I like ever. say to the and prince of lies, I'm like. Uh, we we are uh, we will we can establish this route for you, and uh, and also take care of a go go, and then perhaps we will be bringing shipments of of this beautiful clay back to the Meru Kingdom. He says, for "Forgive me, system. Karim. It is and not that I do not do not trust your word as both a spear and a man, but I must say, Abelia seems much more competent with the the matters of diplomacy and mercantilism than you." Ooh, Are you in a <laughs> burn? Savage burn. <laughs> no. So again, I, I just pat. I'm gonna pat him on on his back, and I'm gonna let him know I'll heal that burn later. So okay, he's <laughs> trying to be polite in the Sakone way, like speaking around rather than just being like, "No, you're yes. not competent." He's like, "Yes, I need to speak with Abelia. I've, you know, this deal was made with her." So here's what I'd like to do, Arthur. I'd like to do a business role. This is important to Abelia because she doesn't want to mislead the prince. Trying to convince a Meru <laughs> nomadic clan, <laughs> like now, to stay where they are for 10 years is something that she feels is a lot to ask for. But what she wants to do is say, can we discuss a, a timeline, say? Um, I'm not quite sure. Yes, uh, of course. I could take a caravan and tomorrow and, you know, in the next week get to the first village. But uh, can we discuss a timeline when this is something we can set up? And so I wanted to make a business rule to see if that is if I can have some. Yeah. Uh, can you do. Well, let me make sure business is appropriate here. Business. Yes. Business charisma would be. That is also a plus. Two. So just slash 2d6 plus 2. Roll good. Wow. Well, you're really oh, good this. at the things you wanted to be good at. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. How do I do it? Roll. The roll. I keep forgetting. Slash no. roll. If you press yes. up, it will also bring back yeah, the last. Yeah, that's true. If you Hold. press up, it'll bring up. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. A 10. So he's like, So there yes. should be a, a timeline. That's what she's saying. No. I would love to guarantee that I can change the hearts and minds of Meru people immediately. I don't think it's going to happen that way, Prince. Of course. All I ask is that this particular caravan for now is successful in getting to Lakosa through this route, that it travels through Meru, that it has a chance to trade. I understand that it might take you some time to train Meru in mines towards more civilized and practical methods of trade. Indeed, I appreciate your understanding of the delicate matter I will have to undertake. Uh, however, when it comes to making sure that your caravan ends up in Lakosa, please consider that absolutely guaranteed. What I am most concerned about is you and my daughter hunting down a go, -go. I am also someone's daughter <laughs> and not much older than yours. I understand your concern. I'm sure my father would also share your concern. I will do everything I can to make sure that she returns to you. I'm hoping she wants to return. She seems to be very excited about <laughs> she, Yeah, she's just like, Finding of course a I want to return. Okay. 
We are going to easily crush a Gogo, and then we will come back here, find all of his allies within the mercantile groups, and hang them by their toenails upside down in the marketplaces. It'd be glorious. Perhaps we'll beat them it. with sticks. I mentioned it, Mankari, is it's not the first time I have it. heard stories of ambitious young women who leave their villages with all the intent of coming back and then don't. You see me <laughs> cough about pensions <laughs> with my like, <laughs> flashbacks. Um, and maybe also some young men, too. Yeah, I'm. so he's just like, uh, Afam is like, yes. If we are in agreement, then shall we share cups together? Yes. Yes. So he pulls out like some like honeyed wine, mm. and he's just like, "This comes from the Kirsi lands. It is made using horses to stomp certain, I believe they call them grapes. Yes, it's going to be very excellent. They put honey in it from bees." It's amazing what animals can help men create. Like, pours you each a glass. You see me, uh, like, sniff mine, like... In in classic Kareem style, I just shoot it back. <laughs> <laughs> you see me drink some. So he's like, like wait, I'm doing no. It slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, he, he just, like... He's like, you must let the tannins breathe for a, a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to pour you another glass. Can't you see me yourself. finish mine, and it's like, war! Another! Says, Did you know that there are many thousands of varieties of this grape and also this honey? This is fantastic. I write my note, grape and honey, miracle. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, the, unless anyone has anything else they'd like to do, I feel like that's a good time to like fade out on the scene. Right? With the okay. clinking of glasses and Toast coming one after another. Is there any leftover food that we may take with us? In the morning? Yeah, sure. Oh, I, I take some because it's like, I can't scavenge in the city. I can't scavenge. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they have like a fruit bowl out and probably like mm -hmm. some pastry, like meat roll stuff. I don't eat the meat rolls. I kind of stick to the vegetarian based diet. I eat the meat. I love empanadas, even though those are not a thing here. <laughs> Can't get empanadas in LA. Can't get, no, <laughs> can't get empanadas in. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> in, you can't in, get uh, empanadas in LA. In fantasy think, Africa, you can't get you're them. You're in the wrong place. Fantasy, that is correct. I just had empanadas for lunch. You can totally get them. <laughs> Confirmed <laughs> empanadas. Empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll you... eat gofu if you are not eating the meat. I will definitely eat it for you. Yeah. So I mean, they don't have empanadas, but they have. They do have like stuffed fried bread type substitute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With like oh God, nicely done. Have you heard about the bread? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that could be that could be breakfast. That's actually a pretty reasonable Sakone breakfast, right? Like goat meat with goat milk cheese uh, mm. inside a stuffed. Like bread roll, baked, bread and roll like thing. a like big enough that you could slice off huge chunks so that each person would like take a plate of just this and just eat that for breakfast. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Fom is like I have not partied like that since I was many years younger. <laughs> I think that Mankare was not even born yet. <laughs> Did you Boy. have a good time, sir? Yes, yes, I did. I feel many years younger. I am good. sorry that you will have to leave me soon. You are all very good companion. Well, can always come back later. Every yes. day I'm shuffling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks at you strangely and he's like, yes, I suppose you could come back later. Um, when, when was this, uh, like actual leaving of the caravan? Did he give us a, t a day? You give him a day. Okay. They're like, uh, stand by. Well, we'd probably have brought that up. Uh, what do you guys, I mean, do we need a bunch of time or should it just be like, put together the caravan? Mm, I kind of want to look at that, uh, 
job posting job thing to see if we could do anything in this area before we leave or anything we're like okay you're stop you're like you're leaving the house and then just looking on the outside of it for all the jobs yeah anything magical based uh, like wizard looking for a job done may offer spells or okay. should i say gunga okay the first job that's posted is by a fama mavo clan uh it is about bandits on a trade route uh, that have been grabbing lone travelers, marowinds, and caravans going to Lakosa. Um, they're looking for a man called Agogo Walker Antwi. Okay. Uh, there is also a notice involving a magical item called a palm line calabash. Uh, whoever can bring down a uh, marrow and white rhino. Is entitled to gain one from the Sakone Huntmaster Ichizona of Arachuku. I write that note next to the picture of Mini Jerk Face. Uh, and finally, there is a job posting by Menkare uh, offering a skirt studded with rose quartz amethyst garnet um, with noble pattern silk, promising that prize to help to anyone who has information that can help her stop. Whoever in the mercantile district is taking control over the government, allowing slave taking and slave shipping through Sakoni lands. Oh. Mm -hmm. that was I think you actually already knew all three jobs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. It'd be that small jobs. Hey, go gather this many fish, and then you get. You yeah, get a yeah. Well, I, I just needed to. <laughs> like, I didn't know you were going to go immediately talk to him, so I like had jobs up on the board, and they've all come up during talks. So. Hey! Yay! Nice. We're learning something. Is that guy that usually stand outside? Of the, uh, See, we there? we could have we could have done this in like a two second job board posting, but instead yeah. we took two sessions. <laughs> uh, I prefer it this way. Um, uh, all right, and so wit yeah, I'm I'm down to go whenever you guys are. Is what Kareem's feeling is i think and mm -hmm. we we kind of want to get out of the city uh god because like to... i only have a couple rations left but i don't have and any we money know to buy. where the um i'll give you, what you a couple to do with the caravan and know where to find it however i don't know if we have the most recent intel on ogogo where he is where he's hit last does anyone have any of that information can i ask around has anyone seen ogogo <laughs> he's right here Oh crap! So That's you're what... checking around town looking for information about a go go? Yeah, it, if okay. yeah, actually, I would ask very specifically about where was he last seen, or where was he last sighted, where was he last causing trouble? Commotions. Um, what's the most recent information we've? we've got at least now so we know kind of what direction uh, okay so the following things could be used to make that check depending on how you want to look at this uh culture traveler i don't think any of you are travelers so uh that's not going to do anything for you uh yeah. culture sakone i have that or a security check i have both okay i uh, think uh the culture checks will be with charisma as will the security check. Okie dokie. I kind of dig the security just because we haven't actually rolled for that yet. So how, like, how are you going about the security thing? You're just talking to people like, I'm looking to, you know, provide guardianship of a trade route. What do you know about a go-go? Yeah, I think here... It, people would not be so suspicious of that kind of thing. If we're talking business and I'm trying to protect a business interest, it doesn't okay. seem like that's unheard of. All right. And your so, uh, your objective here is what? Your final objective is? The final objective is, even though we're going to be leaving with the caravan, I'd like to know sort of where Ogogo is-ish. So basically she's... Last? Basically, okay. she's lowest lane, and I'm like Jimmy, just right behind her, writing notes. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that's just a security uh, plus uh, charisma. Yep. Security, which is, an is that negative one? 
If it doesn't have any... If you don't have any, it's a negative one. I have it as a griot uh, class skill. And it's a zero. So that's zero. So that's a zero. And then I add my charisma, and that makes it a plus one. Okay. And then you said push the up arrow. Yes, but roll this plus one is... Twelve! Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Doing some incredible roles tonight. Yeah, we're rolling fairly well today. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, we know we're good at role playing games when all our dice come up really good. Um, that's because I haven't rolled anything yet. Yeah. So as you're going through the marketplace, right like yes. crying out for anyone who knows yes. of, of uh, a go go walkeranti, a man with a, like a, a gashed stomach wound. So you can see, like, his armor's been removed. There's, like, a, a fist-sized plate of his armor that's been pulled off. And there's a scar there that's, like, not quite healed up. And he's like, yeah, ah, I know where a go-go is. The man stabbed me not a week ago. I could give you this information for money, but I'm not going to charge you. All I ask is that you bring me along. And that when we execute him, you let me do it. Thy name is Sa Sahi. Do you have somebody dressed in those rooms for you, sir? This is, uh, no, I've just, I've walked for almost a week alone. I've been looking for anyone to help me go after a go-go. I just arrived. Can I, can I just, like... Can I yeah. like look him over and start examining him? Like, hmm. help him I'm... somewhere, sit down or something. Yeah. Can you make a oh wisdom medicine roll? Uh. Do 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 do. Do yeah. Wow, oh. thirteen. <laughs> yeah, like you, you bind his wound. There's nothing magical about this, so you don't like instantly heal it. But you, you know, you set Pitch him up so that it's it's like a thick band of like torso wraps, maybe. And a large, like, padding of cloth so that he doesn't bleed everywhere. And he's like, ah, yes. Uh, thank you for this wonderful substance to chew on. It has begun to relieve my pains. You are very wise, sir. Might I ask who you are, noble healer? Just call me Gofu. Claire. There are not many... Sorcerers. Gangas, like you. And you could see he was going to say another word and just... There are not many Ganga like you who would stop to help a man such as me. You look like you are a man in need. We should help one another. You have the heart of a lion. I can see it in you. This is, <laughs> I have no lion heart, friend. I am Sa Sahi. <laughs> Sahi, I am Karim, and you are welcome to come with us to Antagogo and... You get vengeance for this terrible wound is dealt onto you. And is uh, Arthur? Is it Sasahi or Sahi? It, it's Sasahi. Sasahi. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Sasahi, uh, uh, you should. I, of course, understand the need for vengeance. You should know that our quest to find a go go may be a little bit delayed. We have to conduct some business before that. Would you still want to come? <laughs> so he's like, well, I could use a few days of rest and maybe some food and water. So, <laughs> yes, I, I would love to come. If you yes. want to take a short break, I would... <laughs> Just want to let you know orders. what you would be getting into if you decided to join. Of course. Do you know of this city? I have not been here before. I'm Looking for a place to stay tonight. <laughs> Virgil's just like, eh. no. Is the, no. Is I don't the, know where we're gonna stay tonight. Is the is other the question? Silk River, mm -hmm. the Silk River that has is a pub. Do they have? Is that an inn or just a pub? No, it's just a bar. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, do I know what it? Where, yeah. I say, uh, Sasahi. I I am not sure where I will be laying my head tonight, so. We may be leaving the city to go camp. We have no silver and got to pay for a bed. Uh, Abelia, if you want to make a luck save to see if you know of a place within the city where you could stay. Yeah. And yeah. Sasahi, okay. And then, well, what was that uh, roll for Gofu? 
I Goku so. rolled for the medicine check. To, oh, damn. To heal this guy's wounds. <laughs> yeah, I fixed him up, and it was like, take it easy, man. Is it 2d6, oh, fucking... Arthur? Uh, no, it's a d20, and you want to roll higher than that, num- that number or higher on your luck save. Roll higher than what number? Uh, <laughs> on your character sheet, it should have what your luck oh, save oh, oh. is. Yeah. Okay. That is in the Grio section. Yes. Grio, 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 Grio. Uh, level one attack with uh, luck. I don't know, roll higher than a 15. Yeah, mm-hmm. you want to roll yeah. a 15 or higher. Holy mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get All lucky. right. 1d20, go. No. Oh, yeah. That's what I rolled on my luck save. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know of any place. Uh, you you haven't heard any discussions. Certainly, there's no place that will take you in for free that you know of. No. <laughs> um, Do we know been... a uh, like a hospital area that needs healing that will offer maybe an empty room? You want to make a luck save? Yeah, I'm going for it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> We are all at a loss. We're like, Bleh. yeah. You, you try to recall Look. what you know of hospitals in the area, but you're so far from where you've come from. So I want to be, Is yeah. It... Like in your culture, right? The hospital would be like a noble area. It would be like attached to your manor, and your your peasants and your slaves would come to the hospital asking for care, and your grandfather would send you know like low noble doctors to go heal them to get them back in the fields. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing like that here. Is you, you don't even know what a hospital looks like in this country. Are there any Marabou myself. temples? Are there any Marabou temples? Almost certainly, yes. Uh, but um, they're going to be Spirit Way. I'm Spirit Way. She's Spirit, yeah. Oh, well then, yeah. You're going to have no problem finding a Marabou okay. temple. We could stay there. I'm sure they'll take us in. She said. <laughs> yeah. It's worth a shot. Yeah, I think that's what Kareem says. Um, yeah, worth a shot. Sure. I'm like, okay, we we see if these temple folk have extra bid put us up. Mm. No harm in asking. Mm-hmm. Where are we heading in the city? Um, yeah, I there's probably a number of small shrines. With a, a large temple towards the center of government. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, the question is, do you want to go to, like, a smaller place where residents might go to worship? Or do you want to go to the place where everyone from outside the city will gather and, like, nobles will gather at? Probably just the local one. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take very long, probably 15, 20 minutes to find one of the smaller shrines. Uh, and a woman with uh, graying hair and a red shawl and the like black with stars outfit of a marabou of the spirit way greets you outside and says, Ah, honored sister, I I see you you pa- practice the way. May I ask who you have friendship with? Well, I have friendship with... These people here. She's at so she's asking what spear you pertain to. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, I have friendship with life. Life. End of death. <laughs> she's like life. I don't know death. Yes, uh, and e- death. Yes, of course. How did I not realize? Um. I am uh, of the spirit way and water. Might I offer you a glass of water in honor of our friendships? Yes, have a glass of death in return. <laughs> I would I be honored just... with your offering. Question, on her dress, are there constellations on there? Yes, there are. Do I recognize my family's seven-star luck? No. Um, her... Outfit seems to come from farther north than that. Okay. If you want to know specifically where from, you can make a culture roll, or I I don't think astronomy is a skill. I don't think so, too. You can make a luck check. 
<laughs> that luck check. <laughs> I'm going Is for it. it. Okay. Bam! Yeah. Ooh! Oh! Yeah. Shit. Bam. You recognize that uh, her um, her specific constellations come from, like, northwest Sakone along the coast. I stayed She's just several without. hundred miles from where you, you would be oh, from. Oh, yeah. And so your this. constellations dip slightly beneath the horizon. Okay, I say these things to her. It's like, oh, your constellations come from such and such in this thing. So she seems kind of surprised. And it's like, uh, I'm sorry. We must complete the ceremony. But thank you for noticing. It's a beautiful dress. You see me sketch it. <laughs> and she's just like... Waiting for Naomi to do something? Oh, I'm I sketched sorry. the hell out of that dress. <laughs> These are my friends. This is Gofu. Uh, he's, um... He has a special talent with the pencil. I'm thirsty for knowledge, as I point so, through the glass. So she... Yeah, I mean, she says, do, do you wish a glass of water offered in friendship? Or our friendships? And she's kind of like, uh... Is this for all of us? She, she's mm -hmm. holding it out towards Naomi. Oh, yeah, okay. I take I take the glass. All right. well, the glass is empty now, but she kind of begins to uh, chant a little bit and then put her hand on the ground and like a watery spring opens at her feet and water just fountains up into the air. What? Amazing. Place that glass. Let me look, out, let me look out my tongue like, ah. Uh... Spectacular. I thank yeah, you for the amazing. gift. In exchange, I give you this picture of a beautiful lady. Are you giving her her own picture? Yeah, the eleven I did for the picture. She, it's a pretty good picture. She kind of laughs somewhat and is like, <laughs> uh, the blessings of the water spirits upon you, sir. Thank you. I made like a side picture of the constellations for notes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, let me see. North Star constellation. Yeah. Um, and I didn't even notice it till now, but TL, I'm pretty sure that's a Vault 111 bag behind you. <laughs> yep. How did I not recognize? It took me almost two hours. Um, yeah, so... After opening a spring in the ground and people walking by, no one's like, oh my goodness, she opened a spring in the ground. You get the idea that this is something she does a lot to like impress people. and they, Not not that it's... they're getting tired of it, but it's not not surprising anymore. Right. <laughs> like People come over with their own water and are just like getting water out of this spring that has popped up from the ground. Yeah, I refill mm -hmm. my canteen yeah. after drinking it. And I'm just like, many thanks for, for this gift of water. Yes, yes. Uh, the spirits bless all of you. Might I ask, sister, why have you come to this temple if you worship life? We are looking for a place to stay, and this seemed like the best place to come to. She seems slightly uncomfortable and says, My apologies. The only ones I am allowed to host here are those who follow the, the spirit water way. spirit way. Not necessarily the water spirit way. I, I want to be very clear here. In order to achieve worthiness, as I'm sure you know, with the, the spirits, one must be a traveler, an adventurer, one who is brave and strong. We normally uh, reserve... <laughs> you see me look towards our uh, We normally reserve type. our rooms only for spears of the dawn. As we are, Spears of the Dawn. This is, ah, well, then there is no issue here. You are, and so remember you have the fifth guy with you, and she says, you are all Spears of the Dawn, then. You have Sasahi with you. Uh, I said, I, I like to pull to Sasahi, and I say, you have not taken the oath, have you? And he's just like, oath? Why would the oath I... of the Spears. No. Yes, why would I take this oath? I wish to it's live pretty a free cool. Life. Pretty no, it's cool. pretty cool. I have actually. a family. I am a caravan guard. Fair enough. Well, we are we four 
our spirits of the dawn. Unfortunately, he is not, but he is a warrior that wished to rid the land of this scourge called Gogo. So I think he qualifies. Can you make a uh, a persuade roll with charisma real quick, Gofu? Uh, yeah. Uh, damn it, damn it. See, I was going to be like, but wait, don't roll it until we come back from break, but then you rolled it. Um, <laughs> I, I say man, pretty picture. Give Dom an opportunity to roll and expect him to not just be like, yay, I'm rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos dice. Let me see here. That Chaos might dice. actually be too be. low. It is a little low. Lower yeah. than I would have liked. It's a good roll with a minus one on it. It's not helping. It could yeah, be so she's like, I'm sorry. I can accept the four of you, but this man has not earned his place in, in the this, Hall of the Spirits. This man is actually one of my apprentices. He is learning the way currently. So she raises an eyebrow at that and says, he is learning the way who yeah. are certain of this yes i am currently teaching him so i guess make a luck save to see if she notices that the guy is just like uh what <laughs> do you want me to wait until after break yes wait until after break fantastic <laughs> man, that's a great idea how did i miss that one <laughs> wake me up for you go, you go, go. <laughs> all right We'll be back in a few minutes here for the second half of this, guys. This has been fantastic. And uh, thank you, by the way, to Mass Squad for coming out last week and uh, checking out these videos. Hopefully you're checking out this week. Go Loot Crate, all of the things. We'll be back in seven and a half minutes. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Yo.